Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B. Today, we will be performing an activity on the Bunsen burner. Now, before we are going to perform the activity, let me give you a pre-lab lecture on how we are going to do the activity. If you are going to look at your lab guides, you have there the procedures given. So, as I do the pre-lab lecture, kindly listen attentively and also observe me keenly as I do some of the procedures in the activity. So the first part of the activity is, you are asked to dismantle the Bunsen burner and you are going to name the parts of the Bunsen burner and also you have to clean each part of the Bunsen burner. So when you dismantle this, you are going to screw out the barrel. So there are two main parts. We have the barrel and we have the base. Onto the barrel, you have here, this is the barrel. You have here attached the collar. Now this collar can be adjusted. And and to the barrel, there is also the air hole, or there are air holes into which the air pass through. The collar is used to adjust the flow of the air from the outside. And to the base, you have the gas pad, you have the gas inlet, we have also here the gas regulator. The entire thing is called the base. So, once you already you know the parts, let us try to give the function of each part. The base holds the entire burner. The gas inlet is where the gas from the gas cock enters. Then this is the gas pad. The gas pad is where the gas from the gas inlet is conducted through. The gas regulator is used to regulate or control the amount of gas that passes from the gas inlet to the gas pipe. Then, for the barrel, this part is where the gas and the air mix in order to form a mixture of this gas and once ignited, will form a useful flame. The air holes are where the air passes. And the collar is used to control the passage of the air. Once you have already learned the parts of the Bunsen burner, let us try to clean each part. So, clean each part. So clean the base, then clean the barrel as well as the collar. After cleaning each part and naming the functions of each part of the Bunsen burner, then you are going to screw this barrel back or assemble back the Bunsen burner. So you have already assembled the Bunsen burner. If you're going to look at your lab guide, the next step there is to connect the rubber tubing into the gas cup and ignite the Bunsen burner. So how are you going to connect the rubber tubing into the gas cup? First, you are going to soften a little bit the rubber tubing so that it would be easy for you to insert this rubber tubing into the gas cup. And when you insert it, you have to see to it that it will reach the last thread of the gas cup. There are three threads here. You are going to insert the rubber tubing up to the last thread. And you check it whether it's already okay or not yet. So how? 
by doing this way, then you pull. Then pull. If the rubber tubing is no longer loose or detaches from the cup that is already ready to use. The Bunsen burner is already ready to be used. Now, in the next procedure, we are asked to ignite the Bunsen burner and try to close and open the air holes. And we are asked to observe what kind of flame can we produce. How are we going to ignite the Bunsen burner? In igniting the Bunsen burner, you are going to ignite the matchstick first. then put it on top of the barrel, then open the air holes. Now we are asked to close the air holes and open the air holes and take note what happens to the color of the flame. When you open the air holes, take note of the color of the flame. Now, let us try to expose this evaporating dish on top of this kind of flame. Okay, observe the color of the flame and we will expose this evaporating dish on top of the flame. Close the air holes. Now what have you observed to the color of the flame? Now with this kind of flame, I'm going to expose this evaporating dish again to this kind of flame. Observe. Take note of the cones or the regions of the flame. Kindly observe it keenly. I think you can find there a, an almost luminous flame or very light blue flame. Then we have there a bluish flame. Then another cone which seems to be colorless. Okay, I want you to observe that kind of flame. After performing this activity, let us open the air holes by adjusting the color. Then, we are going to place this cardboard on top of the barrel with that kind of flame. But before you are going to place this cardboard on top of the barrel, let us wet this cardboard first. After wetting this cardboard, we're going to place this on top of the barrel with that kind of flame. I want you to observe what happens to the wet cardboard. With this kind of flame, I'm going to spray charcoal onto it. I want you to observe what happens to the flame. Can you take note what happens to the color of the flame when I'm going to spray the charcoal? Then I'm going to insert this mud stick the head of the matchstick onto the top of the barrel with this kind of flame. Kindly observe. And the last part of this experiment is that I'm going to insert this glass tubing onto the top of the barrel this way at some angles and then ignite the other end of the glass tubing. 
and observe what happens. After doing the experiment, you have to turn off the gas cog in order to put off the flame. So that is the entire activity about the Bunsen burner. What are you going to do next? I want you to answer all the questions asked in the laboratory guide and also write the observations that you have made when I perform the experiment. But when we are going to have already the face-to-face, -face, I want you to repeat the same procedure on how to operate the Bunsen board. That would be all for today. And this is your teacher, Professor Lisita Suiz of Holy Name University.